Hello Floss Tube. My name is Elizabeth Martinez, Fancy Pitches, and this is my Floss Tube update number 153. Um, I want to say uh, welcome to any new viewers and welcome back to my subscribers. Um, this is the channel about cross stitch. And uh, today I'm going to talk about a few uh, other things, uh, including the fact that I'm a shorn lamb. Finally got a haircut. I've been, I had gone, um, I think it was since before Christmas, uh, and, uh, without a haircut. And so I was like, my hair was growing. I looked like I had a mullet. I had, my hair was growing down on my neck here and, and getting longer here. So I'm, I'm, I like to wear my hair short. And, uh, it's been a while since I've gotten a haircut. So now I feel like, you know, 20 pounds lighter. It's a great feeling. Um, and like I, as I say, I'm a shorn lamb. Um, you know, I had seen recently a, a, a little blurb about a, a, a sheep that had, I guess, been lost in the woods or escaped in the woods. Uh, had been for a while, a long time, I guess. I don't know if it was a year or two years or something, I you know. But it was like very overgrown. His wool, you know, was very overgrown because, of course, sheep are shorn every year, and so that's how kind of how I felt like it was like big, 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 uh, like I needed to be shorn. Um, and the other thing I wanted to talk about was last night. I, you know, I guess it was last night or the night before. I I had um, a couple of weird of weird dreams. You know, I I haven't had a, a uh, musical, what I call anxiety dreams. Um, I hadn't had one uh, since I retired from the symphony, I guess. And but last night, um, I had a dream that I that I was gonna play a concert, and I uh, with with the symphony. And for some reason, I was not wearing my symphony blacks. I was wearing like a, just like a summery kind of dress, which is kind of weird because apparently it was snowing outside. But I, so I got to the, to the hall, to the theater and, and uh, kind of at the last minute, I was running, not exactly late, but I was, didn't have a lot of extra time. And I got there and everybody was, was wearing their symphony blacks. And I was like, oh no. And so, and I also had, I had my cat snug with me. And so I was like trying to figure out, well, I can't put, leave him in the car because it was snowing outside. And, you know, and I didn't have like any kind of a carrier or anything to put him in. And I was afraid if I put him on, you know, just there on the floor that he would come out on the stage or something while we were playing. And I was like, I don't know what to do with him. And then I went to get my, my instrument out and I didn't have it. I couldn't find it anywhere. And it was, I realized it was still in the car. And so I think I brought it in and opened up the case and it wasn't in there. There wasn't anything in there. Something like, it was very, very weird and very disconcerting. And, you know, and I don't know why I would have such a dream because like, you know, I haven't played in orchestra in about five years or so, six years. I don't know. Anyway, that was kind of a weird thing that happened last night. Um, so uh, now we'll talk about stitching. And I really only have one whip. I've been working on the same thing. I've been trying to to focus on finishing this since it's very overdue. Uh, Tribal Owl. So I did more of this uh, area. I did one the, this side of its face, the, the lower part of the, the brown part of his face here as well as I'm working my way uh through this I th have I think just like two little sections this tiny little little thing or this one some right around in here and I think this thing on his shoulder and I'm I think I'm right around here somewhere um so I took it out of the out of the hoop because uh, I worked on a couple of different sections. I was working on, uh, so this is this is the whole thing. So I have to do his face 
and his head up here. And then down here, like I said, I have a couple more sections here around to do on his shoulder. And then the branch that he's sitting on, and the, then the, there's a the little section of his tail underneath the branch. So I'm making pretty good progress. Like I said, I think I'm right here right now. Um, yeah, on this little section here. So, but I had, I had like done all this bottom section, and I think this is all done. But I was like uh, working my way up here and it was starting, the thread I was using was starting to get a little lighter. But I wanted to use the sort of lightest section here so that this side of his face would more or less match this side of his face. And I, I kind of did that to some degree. Uh, this side is much whiter. But, um, so, I did some of that. And so then I went back and found a, a lighter section to finish this with and I'm working my way up there now. So I just have like, you know, about two or three little sections to go on uh, right in this area here. And then, um, I don't know if to do, if I'm going to do his face next in the top of his head, or if I'm going to do that branch down there and his tail next, but it's, it's coming along. Uh, today's the, what, the 13th, so maybe by the end of the month I will have finished it. I don't know. And I think some people were going to, what they were going to do in April. I had read uh, or heard, um, oh, <laughs> I can't remember now what it was. It was something literary for April. But, um, but if I get this done, I don't know what I'm going to work on in April whatever else. I don't know. I have the, the peacock that I started. I have Blessed that is about maybe not quite halfway through um, that I, I really do want to finish it. Um, I don't know. I'll have to look at all my crap. I have a ton of whips now. Just, you know, things I started and I work on it for a while and then for whatever reason I do something else. So I want to I wanna sort of get through and finish those. I, I, I don't know what I'm going to do. But anyway, so so really that's the only stitching I've been doing. There were a couple of days where uh, it seems like we've been like, you know, going out and doing stuff every day this uh, uh, this past week. We've been, um, you know, running errands and going to the store and, um, and uh, just doing other stuff so that by the time I get back, I'm really tired and and, um, uh, and it, you know, and it, it, it seems like, like every, you know, um, I get tired a little easier, you know, more easily than, uh, now than, than I used to, um, probably because I'm older really, but partly because of, because of the stroke that I had that it, I think it takes more energy to walk, you know, than it used to. And then, like I, I had, I had, like I said before, I had hurt my hip somehow, my leg, my thigh, whatever. Um, although that has uh, been better, so I've been going to like physical therapy, and that's been something else we've been doing this week. So, you know, I've been running around, not doing, uh, not having nearly as much uh, stitching time as I had before. And matter of fact, there was one day when I was so like cold and tired. It's kind of cold here. It's been like in the 40s and 50s, so I know that's not really, really cold, but it's cold here. It's been raining a lot the last uh, couple of days, two or three days, and um, it's snowing in the higher elevations around Flagstaff and Prescott and places like that. Um, but so it's been very wet and cold here and, and windy. So uh, I don't know if it was yesterday that we were, or the day before, they were out running around and uh, I got very cold and I didn't feel good. It was, uh, my head kind of hurt and just like, I just slept for a long time. Finally did a little stitching. This was a couple nights ago, I guess. Finally like stitched late at night, you know, but, uh, um, so it's been, you know, kind of an up and down week. 
Um, I haven't gotten nearly as much stitching done as I, as I wanted to. Uh, but hopefully that'll that'll change. Um, next week, next I think next Friday, uh, where uh, my sister was able to get an appointment for my dad for his first vaccine shot. So, and, but it's kind of like far uh, from here. So we're kind of gonna kind of make a little expedition of it. Go eat lunch and go have the the, the appointment and and uh, you know do all that. Um, all in one day, um, and she's still trying to sort of get, you know, get appointments for herself and me, you know, to go and get, and, uh, the vaccine and all that. But, you know, it's, it's, it's such a complicated, difficult process. I don't know if that's the case everywhere in every part of the country, but here it's, it's, it's difficult. But anyway, so, so yeah, that's what's, um, on the agenda for this week. Uh, and hopefully I'll get more stitching done and get that, uh, I'm still working on trying to get that owl knocked out. So, um, but in the meantime, I spent a lot of money, um, uh, buying things that, you know, <laughs> I keep telling myself, I don't want to buy more patterns because I don't, I, you know, I've already, I've got a lot and actually there's one or two. Um, that I saw on the uh, the Needlework Expo that are sort of newer patterns. And um, like there's one from Twin Peak Primitives. It's called Easter. Uh, well, I don't know what it's called, but it's like it says Easter across like a little banner, I think. And then there's a bunny painting an Easter egg, a big Easter egg. And there's like two little mice carrying white eggs to the bunny and one mouse carrying a painted Easter egg, you know, away from the bunny, you know. And so I want that really badly, but I have not seen any kind of ordering information and, and you know, anywhere. So I don't know. Um, it's, it's not on the Twin Peak Primitives site yet, of course, I guess, because it's a new release or something, but I haven't been able to find it anywhere. So I don't know what it's called. I don't know how to find it. Uh. And then there's, um, I saw, uh, I guess also in the, in, uh, on a preview video, um, some Mill Hill kits that are um, vegetables or herbs or something like that. Um, and I kind of wanted to get those because they're, because of uh, my niece, uh, seems to like to cook a lot and things like that. And, and I think, um, if they're, especially if they're small, I don't know, I'll have to see what, you know, what size they are. And, and I'm, I'm a little bit wary of them because they have a lot of beads. Mill Hill kits generally do, but, um, to see if it would be something that would work like, like, you know, if there's four designs, you know, to do them all together for her kitchen or something like that. I don't know. But that's uh, um, another uh, set of patterns I was interested in. Um, uh, by all means, I did not see everything that is going to be offered, uh, that what has been offered as a new 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 design for the uh, coming through the Needlework Expo. But uh, of the things that I did see, the previews and the things that I did see, those are the two that uh, have stuck in my mind. Uh, the most, although there were lots of things that I really liked, lots of designs that I really liked, but those those two things, the the Mill Hill, you know, uh, herb kits, whatever, and the and that Easter design, were the ones that I really really uh, want to look for. But in the meantime, then I consoled myself with buying things that I don't need, <laughs> and some things I do need, I guess. But, um, so, uh, we had a little crafting day the other day, um, at my younger sister's house and she had like a bunch of beads that from, you know, years ago, I guess that she, uh, no longer uses. And so she had some like in a, you know, Ziploc bag, just a whole bunch of higgledy piggledy little, you know, beads. 
And uh, so some of those, you know, we were sorting through and some of them uh, look like, you know, they're useful. And, and one thing that, um, oh, hold on one second. Let me get something that I didn't get. I forgot. Okay. Um, so, uh, like I said, we had a, a sort of a, a crafting day uh, over at my sister's, sister's house. And actually, I think, I guess... Uh, on the sticks and strings video, I had shared some of these. Uh, I don't know if I if I shared these on my video uh, update last week, um, but uh, you know I had made a, a a scissor fob for my sister Naomi, and um, and it it came out really nicely, and and I wanted to I had more of the fish charms and some of the beads you know that I used for hers so I made a few more uh, scissor fobs that are there in, in our Etsy shop so I made this one it's very much like the one I made for her a little fish there and another one another fish charm that one's blue and yellow and then I, I didn't have enough of the of this, these blue charms to make a whole bunch of those, but I had some other charms. And I so I made this one. Oops, that's a little twisted here. There it is. So there's a red and green fish there, and a I guess a coppery red or blue uh, thing. I used these beads. For those two, and I made uh, another one out of that, those beads, and this one is looks like that coppery and black, I think. Yeah. So I made so those I made those scissor fobs. I think last week, last hour, I think I don't know. But anyway, so while we were uh, over at Naomi's crafting, I made this scissor fob. It has a shell there. And I use these little, uh, there's a seahorse there. Yeah. So I made this as a bob. And I, I had bought a string uh, that have uh, a string of beads that had these, these little silver plated, uh, beads on them. And I have not been able to find another string of like that, uh, because I have several nautical themed sort of charms like this, uh, not like this one, but, um, you know, a whale tail and a lighthouse and, uh, the, what do you call it? The wheel, uh, ship's wheel, you know, steering wheel, <laughs> not steering wheel, but you know what I mean? And, um, uh, various things like that, various other nautical themed, uh, ideas. And, um, and I wanted to use more of those, you know, these the uh, metallic uh, beads and I, I have enough to put like you know one or two with each string but I uh, I wanted to do to do that to do more of that but um, so anyway I've been sort of looking all over all over town for uh, those kind of beads and have not been like I said not been able to find them but I found some more nautical thing so it's kind of dangerous but anyway so uh this is in the hall portion of the thing so i bought these uh individual uh things so these have those beads on them they're just packaged differently they're not you know they're just individually so here's some seahorses and uh these little sea turtles um weren't on that original you know uh set of beads but I like those too and here's some uh, the, of the uh, these kind of shells and I didn't see the other little pearly shell kind of things or, or and I think there were some yeah well these these kind of starfish so yeah so I, I will be able to use those I think and then also um, these little uh, pearl 
kind of things, the irregular little pearl beads. Um, and then also the other day, um, I, you know, because I was still looking for sort of nautical sort of looking uh, beads, I got these, these green beads are kind of like, like kind of like, they remind me of like sea glass, you know. And then I got these beads that are sort of blue and yellow and green and whatever. So we'll see if they, you know, look good with what I, what I had in mind or whatever. And then I also bought some more of these sort of, these are not the, exactly the same as the white beads that I had before, but I like these uh, round, they're sort of like bone kind of uh, things, but... And also these uh, are sort of like those irregular pearl kind of uh, things as well. And I found today at Michael's these little seahorses that are kind of cute. So I think like I need more of these, you know. But, um, and then also the other day, uh, oh, and well, today, I got uh, these as well. I have some some large beads, really large, you know, that I got. Oh, I don't even know where I got them, but um, but they're very um, primitive looking, you know. So I wanted something that would go with them, and these would kind of work, I thought. And then these are also more like uh, would work, I think, with those nautical themed. Uh, beads and then um i got some more of these uh, that we used um uh, with these llama charms because they look they match very nicely the colors match very nicely and i, I had used some of these beads and some chunks of uh coral and turquoise and i have a few of the turquoise uh, chunks, I mean, coral chunks left. And the turquoise ones I have are, are larger, so I got some some more of the, these little chunks. So I can use some of those. Now I just have to make these scissor bobs. You know, I have all these beads. <laughs> and then I bought these uh, other uh, chunks as well. More like, more bluish. And then in addition to the llama charms, I got some more charms, some of them the other day and some of them today. I got some more fish. Oops, I think this one's backwards. I turn around there. I got some more fish. And then today, I have some, we have some Swarovski crystals, uh, beads that, um, that my sister got. And so, uh, we don't have a whole lot, but I, we have enough, I think, for some scissor fobs. Um, they would have to be, you know, probably more expensive than the regular scissor fobs, just because the Swarovski crystals are more expensive, but I don't know yet. So, uh, so I got something that I thought would, might look good with the crystals, so, uh, the beads. So I have these little, uh, what do you call these things? Uh, dragonflies. Or butterflies or whatever they are bugs <laughs> um, and these uh, those are dragonflies I guess these are cats yeah with a little you know crystal uh, set in them and then uh, let me turn these around the right way so they're yeah, backwards Some of them are backwards, sorry. Yeah. Here we go. So, so I don't know uh, how many different colors uh, there are of the Swarovski crystals, but um, at least some of them will match with those, with some of those, I think. Um, so we'll see how that goes. And then also, um, I had bought some time ago, oh, 
one more thing I forgot. How many, hang on one second. Sorry. Uh, some time ago, I had bought some uh, animal uh, style beads, and uh, and I had not used them for anything. I, I hadn't decided how or why or where I would use them. Um, but then, uh, uh, among the beads that my uh, sister gave us, it were a whole bunch of pony beads, and and I had uh, I bought some alphabet beads and other uh, pony type, pony bead kind of things, and um, we had the idea that maybe uh, we could make something for kids. My sister had bought uh, uh, a bunch of uh, lobster claws, and they had some that were uh, plastic, colorful ones like this. So she, uh, we, we experimented with making some uh, scissor fobs or you could put them on a backpack or whatever, uh, but uh, for kids. So this one just says Paul. I don't know if it's right side, if you can read it or not. <laughs> but there's like, like on this one, there's a, a rhinoceros and, you know, beads and whatever. Um, and then this one has my name, it says Bash. Um, <laughs> again, I don't know if you can, if I have this backwards or not, but, um, but there's a lion, you know. So we have a few different animals and, and a few, uh, I don't know uh, what letters we have, we'll have a bunch of different letters and different sizes too. We have some that are bigger, some that are smaller, whatever. And then uh, a few different colors of this, of these uh, little lobster claws. So we're hoping that maybe, um, you know, people want to get them personalized for, for kids, for themselves, well, whatever, you know, um, we have a bunch of these beads. So along those to, to sort of go with those, I bought some more beads and these have other, uh, uh, things like there's a little dolphin, there's some flowers, there's a seal. Um, there's a turtle. So these are some animals that I don't have in the, among the ones that I bought. There's a whale over here. Um, there's so, and some of these beads are like kind of, uh, like, uh, gem kind of thing, type of things like this. Clear beads and, set, and some are solid. And different sizes and things like that. So, about this little uh, tub of beads today and then also um some alphabet beads the other day uh but this these colors here and these i have some some white ones and some other uh round ones that are sort of rainbow colored light light colored and these black ones so so we're hoping that maybe among those we can put do something where uh, people can sort of generally customize, like a you know a, a certain color animal and a and a general color way, um, you know something along those lines. And I also wanted to show the scissor fob just because I ran across it <laughs> while I was trying to find all the other things. Um, this is one that my sister made. Um, uh, my sister Eve made it's very sparkly and has a dolphin on the bottom so this is these are this is among the was among the nautical charms uh, that i had so yeah there's one there there's a dolphin and these you know all these scissor fob things will be uh, if they're not already on the etsy site they will be soon um and then also i uh the other day I got these uh, more jump rings. I, <laughs> on the craft day that we had the other day, um, I uh, had tried to make, uh, I know that some people have made uh, scissor fobs out of like with chains and, and you know, the beads on them. And I had an idea and I wanted, and I almost could do it, but I wanted, uh, I needed smaller jump rings the ones we have are generally around this size 
and I wanted, uh, I needed something smaller because of the, of the size of the chain that I was using. So I got those. Um, so I'm hoping to make, I have an idea and, and I, and actually, um, like, you know, like some people have, the, I mean, some of the stores have these like kind of like, they look like they're made for bracelets, but it's a chain that has, you know, like several, like say starfish or whatever on it. And um, that's kind of like what I want to do, but I want to, you know, put, I have a bunch of little charms that I want to put on there myself, but so, so anyway, that's what those, these little jump rings are for and the smaller, the smaller size ones, you know. Um, but then also I, uh, today I got this, um, these collapsible eye um, needles, so you know, whatever you're using, if you're using cording or you're using whatever, um, you know, you can st string it through here and then, and then because these eyes are collapsible, they'll go through whatever kind of bead you're using, I guess. And, uh, so I just got those to, to see if that or helps, uh, with what we're doing. But anyway, so I have a lot of beads to make scissor pops. I just, I just have to sit down and do them. That's kind of, it's, it's hard for me because it's hard for me to sort of decide like what, uh, which beads I want to use with the charms or whatever. That, that's kind of a slow process for me, but I've, um, I'm right now I'm working on those nautical charms because they're, I sort of, I have them in my head right now, what I want to do with them. I just have to do it. But anyway, so I'm, I have only the one whip that I'm working on stitch, stitch wise. And then I'll have a whole bunch of ideas for fobs that I just have to sit down and do, I guess. But so, um, so hopefully next week I'll have that either, either I'll have that tribal owl finished or I'll be almost finished with it because, uh, I am determined to, to focus on it and get it finished and get it knocked out because it's, it, you know, it's, on the one hand, very simple, and then on the other hand, just a lot of stitching. It's pretty big, pretty good sized. Um, excuse me, one minute. And he pushed it over here. Um, but yeah, you know, so it's pretty good sized. Um, I don't know what the stitch count is. I don't remember, but you know, it's 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 uh, it's pretty big. So. I don't know if I'll be able to finish it by next week. I kind of don't think so because there's a lot of stitching that goes up, you know, in the, in his head up here. Uh, I'm almost done with uh, the body and I'm almost done with, I mean, and then I just have that one, the one branch, but it's kind of a lot of stitching that just to get that branch, uh, you know, uh, I the pattern, I have the pattern here, but. So yeah, so this branch, it seems simple, but it's really kind of not, you know. And then I have all of this up here on his head, the, the big eyebrow thingies, and his head, and all around the eyes, and the eyes themselves. So all of this, you know, upper part of the head I have to do, and the branch, and the lower part of the tail. And right now I'm just finishing up in this area right here. So, I don't know if I'll be able to finish it by the end of the year. Um, I mean by the end of the year, by the end of the month. Um, 135 by 209 stitches. So it's it's pretty big, pretty good size. Yeah. So, but I'm I'm hoping to 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 focus on that more this week. I don't know if I'll if I'll get any other stitching done besides that. If I work on that, maybe I can finish it. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, and the other thing, I almost forgot this. Oh, it's right here. If it bit a snake, it bit me. Um, I bought this uh, fabric my sister was showing me. I, this is, I believe, it is a llama. And then there's some, just looks like plaid. And this is, I want to say it's a, a deer. It looks like a, like a cow. I can't tell. It's because it's still in the bundle. I don't want to undo the bundle. Um, 
And I think there's, um, I think this is a, a donkey or a cow or something. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, it's, it's, it's a cute print. And then I bought this, uh, dragonfly fabric. It's very springy. Um, I got all this at, um, at Hobby Lobby, I think. Sorry. Uh, yeah, there's dragonflies on there. So anyway, um, so, so next week I hope I'll have more, uh, stitching to show you. And, um, yeah. And then, uh, later on tonight, uh, my sisters and I will film another episode of Sticks and Strings. It'll be up on Sunday. Um, if you'll go ahead and like and subscribe to that channel. Uh, it's Three Sisters Creative, and the videos are Sticks and Strings videos. Um, and uh, that also uh, will have a link tree uh, that links to our Etsy shop and um, and this channel and to my sister, my sister Eve's channel, uh, Everyday Artist. And um, so anyway, the Three Sticks, uh, Three Sisters Creative Sticks and Strings video uh, will be filmed later on today, today, tonight, and posted on Sunday. Um, so be sure and keep your eyes peeled for that. Uh, and again, if you're a, a subscriber, if you subscribe to that channel and, and hit that little alarm, a little bell button, um, it'll tell you whenever, um, whenever those, uh, videos are, uh, available. And you can go online and, and watch all of those so I think that's going to do it for me. I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up and get busy stitching. Um, I have to get my this table you know, cleared off so we can be ready for our, uh, our video uh, this evening. Um, I think that's it, though. So I will see you next week. Be sure and, and stop by our Etsy shop and check out things uh, there. Oh, I want to talk about these also real quick. Um, I don't, yeah, they are. Okay. So there's this, these, uh, project bags that my sister made for, uh, our, that are on our Etsy shop. There's this one with this cute bunny. Look at those bunny. They're so cute. Oh my gosh. They're really cute. And it's backed with this blue, uh, fabric. These handles and a, and a zipper and this blue fabric on the inside. And there's a little carrot or a zipper pull charm here. There it is. There's the carrot. So there's this, and there's a matching notions pouch that I cannot reach here. Yeah. <laughs> Hold on just a second. I don't want to mess. Okay, so there's this project bag and a matching notions pouch with the blue fabric on the inside. In the snap closure. So there's this set. And then, hold on one second. Let me get this out of the way. And there is a, another, uh, ooh, this one with chicks and eggs and spring fabric and this little yellow fabric is the contrasting one. And the handles and the it's a uh, yellow on the inside as well and this one has a little bunny charm and there is a matching notions pouch, notions pouch as well it's back with that yellow fabric and the snap closure And then one more, sorry, didn't get these out of the plastic earlier. Okay. So this one has the uh, bunnies and lambs and chicks. Very cute. Yeah. And it has uh, the blue fabric on, it, on the lining as well. And this one has a 
पनि यो पनि And this sort of barn wood. There's the little bit of a chicken wire print there. Too. I didn't notice that <laughs> before. And there is a matching uh, notions pouch for that one as well. The little snap closure and the, that blue fabric. There's the bunnies. The bunnies are so cute. Oh my gosh. Cute bunnies. Anyway, so those are also on our, uh, I think, are available on our Etsy shop. If they're not already on there, uh, they will be soon. But anyway, so there, so go to our Etsy shop and check those out. Three Sisters Creative is the name of the Etsy shop. And I'll have all that linked. Uh, I'll have those linked below. And so that is, I think, going to do it um, for today. And... Uh, uh, I hope you come back to join me again next week, next Saturday. So thanks a lot. Again, my name is Elizabeth Martinez, Fancy Stitches, and I will see you next time. Thanks. Bye.